So, what I always have on my master is I'll start off with a, like an analyzer and I'll end with an analyzer so I can see what changes I'm really making. And then um, the first thing I'll do is I'll use a utility and just make sure that the bass is mono, in mono. Everything below a certain uh, frequency, um, yeah. Then I'll usually use like a compressor, uh, like the glue compressor from uh, from Ableton itself, actually. And the key with mastering as well uh, is to not overdo it. Like gentle stuff uh, really makes a difference. Like using a couple of compressors that use a little bit of compression can make more difference than one compressor compressor and really squeezing the hell out of, out of your track you know you you lose all your dynamics so in this case the glue i'm just going to use a little bit And actually what I'll start with or before the utility is just an EQ taking out all the low end or like the low end below 32 hertz you know it's, it's you don't hear it but if you leave it in if there's information there then it's gonna uh, make your mix muddy and it's gonna cost you headroom so always take it out <laughs> 